Hi everyone, thanks for joining this video. In a few minutes, let me show you how to integrate APM as a service provider with as ready as an IDP. In a few minutes. As you may know, on the big IP side, we added access guided configuration that allow you to deploy very easily step by step use cases like service provider, IDP for SaaS application, or OpenID Connect. And we did exactly the same for Azure AD. So now in Azure AD, you have a step-by-step -step application. This is the name used in Azure AD. So first of all, let's go to Azure AD. In Azure AD, search for enterprise application and create a new application. Search for F5 and give a name, F5 APM uh, with Paris Lab. Click add. Wait one or two minutes so that the application is created. Okay, so application is created now. I just need to connect my IDP to my SP. So let's go to single sign-on. Use select SAML and set up the basic SAML configuration. So I already created a new FQDN for the Paris lab and the DNS, F5 DNS is uh, responding to this uh, FQDN. Save it, and the next step is just downloading the certificate and the metadata. So scroll down, download the metadata, download the certificate, base64. So after downloading the metadata, you just need to assign the right person okay so you go to you go to user and groups you had a user and you can see I have only one user in this tenant it's myself okay assign so I'm allowed to request tokens okay so insertion for this application on the APM first of all upload the certificate okay because insertion is signed and the request is signed so go to certificate management and import the certificate okay name Azure AD. Sell the certificate. And go to access guided configuration. Select federate. You can see several use cases, nine use cases in the federation uh, template and select SAML service provider. Give a name. So it will be as ready lab. If you remember the entity ID that I put in the previous uh, screen in Azure ready, this is my entity ID, the host, insertion sign, an IP address. This is just to create your virtual server. Of course, push the right certificate. This is mine. And here, import your metadata. Choose the file, select the metadata, give a name, as you ready, SML, IDP. It's signed with this certificate. Okay, so next step is to create a pool or select a pool. So I'm gonna use a one of my application that I have in the, in the back. So let's use a Akazon. Next, if I want to do single sign-on, I can extract information. As you can see, I can extract information from the insertion and insert uh, insert a, a header, okay? Like my authorization. So I don't do that at the moment. Endpoint check, the timeouts, and deploy. So now let's make a test and check if I if I can authenticate with uh, against Azure AD. So I connect to my application on premises in the Paris lab. Remember, this was the uh, the FQDN. I'm redirected to Azure AD. Authenticate with my username, my password. I don't care. I'm connected. So you can see 
very, very fast and easy to deploy with two guided configuration, one on APM side, one on Azure ID with an enterprise application, download the certificate, download the metadata, deploy the template, and it's done. Thanks for watching.